All right, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like Akimo Akwath, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. Another video through the Spirit. All right, and for this one right here, <laughs> um, you know, this this is I, the Spirit hopped on me to just Google this information to look this up. I'm not going to even pronounce. You know, y'all can see what it is. I decided to look up the percentage of how many people got that Kool-Aid kick. <laughs> how many people got kicked by the Kool-Aid? And I shook my head when I saw the numbers. And, you know, it's not, I'm, it's probably not 100% accurate, you know, but Esau, he, he loves to be a little number demon, which, you know, that's something only for the Heavenly Father to know. Always trying to count how many people are in the area statistics that's going outside of your realm which Esau Edom is guilty of uh, one of many reasons why he must be destroyed all right now it says at least 80% got the first kick of Kool-Aid and it says 69.1% uh, <laughs> have gotten all a Kool-Aid I said God you know I said God damn you me you know and what this goes to show you y'all the majority of these people in this world are fucking full of shit and they're weak and they're ready to give in to the beast when this man declares his mark. All right. And I'm just going to be getting a couple of scriptures showing you how there's not a whole lot of people left on planet Earth who are righteous. It's all it's it's the remnant. Lord willing, it's us, y'all. You know, hey, our elders and apostles, you know, the elders under them, us brothers that do these videos and you sincere listeners, we're the last ones left on planet Earth with any, with any fucking backbone. You got niggas that's six five, six seven, seven foot basketball niggas, football niggas, killers in the prison, thugs, and not a, not all of them weak sauce. Because it say at least eighty percent. That twenty percent is mainly us and a couple little conspiracy theorists, Edomites. That's about it, y'all. You know, what is is approximately three hundred thirty million Americans in the United States. You know. The majority of people who took this, hey, it, it, it just truly goes to show their lack of result, their lack of being able to stand up for what's right against tyranny and oppression. All right, let me get this scripture, man. These people, hey, one of me, many reasons why I, I, I don't respect, I don't respect none of these motherfuckers, man. Don't respect none because they, they, you know, here, here it is, a motherfucker uh, be all up in your face talking big shit, and this nigga went and ran and got stuck up. Got the Kool-Aid stick so he didn't lose his job or because his wife said she was going to take the kids if he wasn't going to, you know, provide a safe environment, you know, or whatever. What are all the excuses people take for taking that bullshit? Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither should thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. All right. We're so not we are not supposed to follow the multitude to do evil. Getting stuck with that Kit Kat is not good for you. Literally, it's evil to your fucking flesh. You lucky, you motherfuckers lucky they wasn't croak, you didn't croak out instantly. All right, y'all, y'all still remember that that white lady that passed out on the on the damn camera, and then and, and she she and, and and she in the dirt now, you know, getting moldy and scoldy in that bitch, you know. When you follow the wicked, it's gonna be a bad result, though it may be pleasure at first. Though it could seem you may have been deceived into believing it was the right thing, it was the wrong thing to those people who took it. All right, and at the bottom part of this verse, it says, Neither should thou speak in a call, cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Meaning what? Speaking in a way, encouraging people to make the incorrect decision, which when you turned off the, on the TV, when you saw them talking about the news of the, jet, of the Kit Kat, that's what all these, uh, you know, fuckers like Fauci and whatnot. They were speaking in a way to make you not critically think and, and you know, make the correct choice. They laid down your guard and, or the, you know, people, this world guard who took it. And, hey, those people, they're going to wish they didn't listen to that guy or none of these so-called doctors who wouldn't told you to get, you know, kicked at, if you will, the horse kick. <laughs> hey, I'm just coming up with names on the fly, God damn it. All right, Slaki, y'all. Uh, but yeah, you know, so people got convinced by these 
motherfuckers in suits to go get it. And soon they're going to be regretting that they did that. All right, let me pull up this post real quick. Right here, uh, it says, uh, health officials say Omi Nomi, let just call it that, sub, sub very, uh, XBB 1.5, possibly most likely to infect those that are Kit Kat-ed, you know, so how about that? So how, so here it is, they went and did all that ramping and raving to tell you to go get yipped and yapped. And now here it is, those who are yipped and yap are more susceptible to get, uh, you know, to catch the thing you're trying to avoid. You know, it's, it's like, a, it's a, it was a, it's a sick fucking joke. And the majority of the people of this world fell for it. Why? Because they marvel at the beast. They worship the beast. They are enthralled with the beast. It's all they fucking know. It's all they know. So they, and they ran blindly into it, man. It's, it's absolutely maddening man it's mad it, it, it don't make sense there's only a, a couple left on planet earth that have you know the faith to trust in how about shimmy all shy and to not fall for any of the bullshit of the world and that's the, the chosen ones you know okay here we go it looks like uh psalms 82 uh i believe is the scripture i was looking for uh let me see double check yeah yeah okay Psalms 82 and 5, it says, uh, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. All right, the people of this world, y'all, they walk in darkness. They have no idea what's going on. Something comes on the TV and they fucking believe it without a doubt. You know, all, all, all a commercial has to say is 10 out of 10 doctors put a couple white guys, you know, who clearly aren't old enough to be doctors, but put them in some in some jumpsuits and the, and the white, you know, coats with a fucking stethoscope around their neck. And motherfuckers believe it. You know? Motherfuckers believe it. They tell you a doctor way, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. Well, the apples, the GMO apples that they give us, the seeds are fucking poisonous. I believe, what, is the arsenic in, in, in them fucking holes? Everything in this world's a fucking lie. And since these people don't have the balls to stand up against the evildoer, they fall victim to him every time. Well, you know, we can't be of that fold. We have to be the ones who do not bow. We have to be the ones who walk in the opposite direction of this world. We can't follow the evil. Otherwise, you will walk to your doom. All right, let me see. Is it, uh, you know, let me get this. All right. The Heavenly Father, he's reserved a... A small few, and we we fighting and praying that we are of that number because, as you saw, hold up, eighty percent, y'all, eighty fucking percent, man. I shook my head at that. You know, I saw, I said, oh, they, they, these people ready, these people ready for the taking, man. Esau, Esau could could declare a law right now and say, you know, if everybody don't go find and and shoot your mom in the head, we taking you to jail. And do you know, I'm talking about, like, seriously push it, like it's a real legitimate order. You know, campaign, politicians, if they, if, if, if America put out an order saying, if you don't go put your mom to death right now, we gonna give everybody in this bitch a hundred years slide. You know how many people gonna go run and fucking, man, what? And you know, this is a crazy scenario, but these people are crazy. They do whatever they're told. Do you know how many dead mamas it'll be? <laughs> Say I'm lying, man. First Kings 19, and I'm gonna actually start up because uh, Elijah was complaining. Actually, he's like, "Damn, Lord, you know all this wickedness going on." He's like, "I'm the last one left." All right, First Kings 19 and 14, and he said, "I have been very jealous uh, for the." For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai power of hosts, because the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left, and they seek my life to take it away. He said, He said, Lord, I've been following you, you know, which all our people have forsaken. And he's, he's like, I'm the last one left, and motherfuckers trying to kill me, Lord. He's like, Lord, what's up? You know, verse 15. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said unto him, Go, return unto, return on thy way to the wilderness of Damascus, and when thou comest, anoint 
Hazael to be king over Syria. And Jehu, the son of Nimshi, shalt thou anoint uh, to be king over Israel. And Elisha, son of Shaphat of Abel Mehola, shalt Slakia. Shalt thou anoint to be prophet in thy room? Yep. So this is when you know the heavenly Father said, "Look, all right, let me, let me, I'm allowed, I'm gonna get you a sidekick, an understudy." Which you know, as we just saw right there, he was being sent to go, uh, you know, bind Elisha to the fold. Verse seventeen, and it shall come to pass that him that escapeth the sword shall Jehu slay, and him that escapeth from the sword of Jehu shall Elisha slay. And so basically, uh, right here. Um, this is dealing with a particular battle that was about to go down. You know, there was, uh, you know, it's good to read through the book of Kings so you know what's going on. But there's a particular uh, happen, a happening that was about to happen. All right. So verse 19 now, it says, Yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed to Baal, and every mouth which have not kissed him. Right, and this is something that we got to keep in mind. Although, you know, because, hey, the scriptures talk about 144,000 men, right? The elect, the 12,000 out of each tribe. You know, when, when you watch all the videos, you might not see that in numbers, you know, but that's why we're not supposed to be out here trying to count heads. The Heavenly Father has his chosen, signed, sealed, delivered, all right? Whether we see them or not, they're out here believing, praying, having that faith. So we just have to trust them in the greater picture of Yahweh Bashim Shah and stay true to the path, all right? You know, we not all, you know, or I'll say over here at Great Millstone, we might not get the most views. But obviously there's people watching because the word has gotten out there. So obviously we are getting views. All right. So we're not the only ones. We're, you know, we're, we're just Lord willing, you know, we're of that remnant, you know, compared to everybody else in the world. They're the, they're the wide gate that, you know, is broad to enter into. Matter of fact, everybody in the world, they're going through the wide gate because they're meant to be destroyed. Well, we're, we're going through the straight gate. All right, Matthew 7 and 13, enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. So right there, y'all, Lord willing, we're of that few. We're of that few that had the sense not to get a foreign substance kicked off in us. All right, like a fucking, like a fucking football punt return, man. You probably, the motherfuckers who got that shit, they probably felt that shit fuck off all in their veins, man. Probably felt that shit wiggling and weren't like, ah, oh, nah. <laughs> you know, you know, when, you know, when, when you was, whenever you had went to the doctor, let's say you got a shot, you know, when you was younger, you actually feel that whatever it is they putting in you, you feel it entering you, bro. And you people went and, went and, 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 and now look at you, man. Now you motherfuckers is fucking flopping out of heart attacks and all kinds of crazy shit, man. Because you didn't fucking listen. You didn't have any faith. There's so, there's so few. Every The majority of the people of this world were born in vain. We are of that few. That few who will resist this man. While everybody else is just, is just a, a none the fucking wiser. Um... Dang, I just had a scripture. Uh, dang, as quick as it was. Dang, hang on, y'all. Amos. Slack ya. Uh, Amos. As, <laughs> as quick as it came, you know. Amos 3 and 7. Surely Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophet. And he revealed it to us, y'all. He revealed it to us while everybody else ran out there, man. Now look at them, man. It's been three years. That shit didn't kick in. The incubation period is over. You know, whatever, however, you know, it, it's taking people at different times. But some people, it, it looks like that shit was designed to just go bananas after about three years. And and, 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 and now look at, look, man. Bro, this, this is the first month of the year. And it felt like it, it didn't been something. It didn't been shit nonstop. Fucking planes couldn't even take off. Not a couple, not even a couple days ago, man. It's about to be like three back to back storms in Cali. They talking about it's going to be flooding for a whole month, damn near, basically, man. These people are just walking on in darkness and don't have no clue. And it's, it's a blessing of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, we are of that few that walk in the light, you know. So, hey, that's, that's about it, y'all. Just wanted to 
share that y'all i found that quite uh i find it quite telling this this right here cuts all the bullshit don't don't let these people's money their houses their car cars their clothes their instagram don't let none of that fool you this right here shows you what what these motherfuckers is made of and what these motherfuckers is made of is bitch ass nigga they got bitch ass nigga in their blood motherfuckers ran out and got this so that means that that means there's many Israelites who know that they're Israelites wouldn't got that shit too. Shit. Got a, you got got a lot of motherfuckers with bitch nigga in their blood, man. All right, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashum, Yahweh Shai, Bahashum, Rachachurash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like Akim Wa Akwath, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. Shalom.